السلام علیکم گائز دس از می شہریار مبارک آن مائی چینل خسن علی ود انر ایپیسوڈ ہوپ ایوری ون از ڈوئنگ فائن ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ اے ویڈیو اور ایڈریس بائی مسٹر بینجمن نتن یاہو لاسٹ ویک آئی تھنک آن لاسٹ ویک اینڈ ہی میڈ این ایڈریس ہی میڈ این ایڈریس ٹو دی نیشن آف اسرائیل اینڈ ٹو دی پیپل آف اسرائیل اینڈ ہی ریفرنس دیئر Uh, holy book hebrew the hebrew bible or the talmud or their old testament or new testament he mentioned the word amalek or amalites as he mentioned when uh, jews left egypt what am amalek did to them so it was an interesting reference as many of you or many uh, of the viewers or the people around the world do not know what amalek means it's it is actually a term or a, a word used for the people who are actually not from the israel or who are not jewish everyone who is not jewish he is amalek to them he is enemy to them in simple words if i translate it to that but the history of amalek is bit old and a very interesting one because these amaleks or amak amaklites as they called they fought israel and they were actually the uh, generation or the kids or the cre- creed of uh, jacob's brother esau prophet jacob's brother esau esau's uh, creed or esau's uh, children who actually were Uh, sent out from israel or who were exiled from israel or who were, who were been asked to leave israel uh, by the prophet jacob or he had some sort of disagreement with his brother prophet jacob and then he left israel and went to north africa as few people say and according to uh, israelites the Isra- israeli books the new testament old testament the hebrew bible talmud torah they are they were the one who actually fought with the tribes of israel or with the israel's israel israel israelites people as they are called the jews they actually fought those jews when jews were out or uh, ex- 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 exodus exodus from the egypt they were uh, they were fighting with the jews and uh, the term or the reference given by benjamin netanyahu that we are fighting amalek or we are fighting another war of independence it has a great meaning as i often referred in my earlier videos to that uh, they whatever the state of israel or these uh, zionist jews are doing they are not doing um, on some whim or some sort of a hunch that uh, we have to do they are actually following their religious protocol their religious teachings their religious beliefs and they want to eliminate people of uh, palestine or arabs as they do not consider themselves arabs jews jews are actually jews were actually arabs but the problem is that that this state of israel actually do not consider themselves consider themselves as arab as they were uh, they are actually arabs because this land of palestine or the land around palestine they are arabs from centuries now they are arabs from centuries now but jews actually do not consider themselves arabs they consider themselves something else they consider themselves a superior race or uh, uh, like the uh, the hitlers in nazi germany used to consider themselves so they are actually in that bracket so they do not consider themselves arab and the reference he gave that it's a holy war that we are fighting with the uh, hamas in gaza so it 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 mentions or it proves the point that whatever israel or state of israel is doing with the people of palestine now or the people of gaza it is a holy war according to them they want to completely remove or extend people of palestine arabs muslims from the land, from the holy land from the promised land from jerusalem because if the problem is with hamas then why are in west occupied Uh, uh, occupied west bank ramallah the palestinian authority who actually governs that uh, area not hamas because hamas governs gaza so if if we accept the the notion of israel or state of israel or the benjamin netanyahu's uh, argument that hamas is the problem then why are you killing people in west bank 
in occupied west bank who are actually this palestinian authority yeah mahmoud abbas the president of palestinian authority or the state of palestine he actually works or he he is a subservient if i have to use the word because he is the one who has never raise a pr- prominent or a voice or a vo- or a reasonable voice on the world forum that what these uh, israeli state or what what the uh, idf is doing to the people of palestine it is it, it is crime it is violation of human rights it is violation of basic human rights basic needs of life you, you can see what these illegal settlers are doing with the people in west bank in ramallah in nablus in the occupied territory uh in the occupied territory and the illegal grab of these settlers all happened under the nose of this palestinian authority hamas is not a phenomena of 7th october hamas is there from 1987 because plo palestinian liberation uh, liberation force organization it actually failed to convene or convince the world that what israel is doing with them it is a program it is same that nazi hitler's nazi germany did to these jews or the jews not to these jews actually to the jews in germany in poland in europe what they did to them and same thing israeli state is doing with the people of palestine from last 75 years or if not 75 years more than 55 years since 1967 the land occupied or the land grabbed by the israeli state or these illegal settlers is the war crimes is the uh, uh, basic uh, vi- violation of un charters the basic international rules international laws and rules uh, regarding to human rights the uh, human rights the, the rights of the people to the to, 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 to the uh, a common human they are violating every uh, law and order in the international law in any law in any civilized law they are violating everything and still if the people in west do not consider this it's it it, it is a it is a genocide it's a program it's it's as simple as that it's an ethnic cleansing of palestinians because if the problem is in uh, gaza and you are bombarding them you are trying to eradicate that problem you are trying to eliminate hamas you are trying to people eliminate the people of gaza you are you are actually extending them to the level that there there even not a sign left there that a uh, human race used to live in that area why are you killing people in west bank what is wrong in west bank west bank is occupied territory and if you see those videos of those detainees and those prisoners what sort of torture what sort of inhuman um, uh, t- torture what sort of inhuman uh, uh, i have to say the the, the 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 behavior they are suffering from the uh, israeli police and idf forces it's inhuman there are videos that israeli settlers israeli regular israeli army israeli police urinating on those uh, people on those detainees on those prisoners raping them sexually assaulting them killing them murdering them uh, uh, st- 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 uh, strip them naked make them sit uh, naked on the streets so if you see those videos if you see those videos you will understand what is actually israel wants to do they consider palestinian amaleks and they want to eliminate amaleks Amaleks in past, according to Israel, religion of Israelites, or the Old Testament, New Testament, or the according to their books, their beliefs, Talmud, Tara, Torah, the Amaleks were actually defeated by King Talabut, Talabut, or later on by the King David, the Prophet David, peace be upon him, as known as Hazrat Dawud alayhi salam in Islam. the Amaleks were actually defeated by them, and if Israeli state is thinking of this. that these arabs or anyone else because the dis- distinction or the meaning of the word amalek is that who is not jewish who do not belong to the land of israel who is not son of yehuda who is not uh, following the judaism who is not following their religion he is amalek christians muslims arabs every even their 
uh, staunch supporters the hindus the indians they are amalekites to them if it comes to uh, choosing if it's come to that they will eliminate indians they will eliminate indian hindus they will eliminate U united states christians they will eliminate united kingdoms christian they will eliminate eu christians because they consider each and every one who is not from is land of israel who is not from those 12 tribes who is not the son of yahuda who is not from the uh, is land of israel who do not follow the jewishism who do not follow their religion he is amalek and this holy war notion that i am saying from the day one that whatever is happening with the people of palestine with the people of gaza it is not happening from out of the blue it's not happening on the whim or just just like like this it is happening because they actually think that they are what they are doing they are making way or paving the way for their uh, Christ to come in this world and take them um, and uh, and 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 establish their international law international rule to the whole of the world international rule to the whole of the world not just in the middle east area or the west asia they want to rule whole of the world and that's why they are doing it this war if israel think it's a holy war then they should remember that muslims or christians will also consider or will also see in their religious te text or in their religious belief what is holy war according to them and recently uh, few christians even evangelic evangelic christians or christian right wing christians in america in united kingdom or anywhere are actually saying whatever israel is doing they are doing right because they also think that if they start doing this if they start punishing infidels their christ will come soon and they will be taken to heaven their all pains their all uh, misdeeds will be forgiven and will end and they will live a happy life so it is high it 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 is whatever is happening in state of uh, palestine right now in state of in, in region of um, uh, gaza strip it is happening because of certain religious beliefs of israel and israeli state and this right wing israeli government because the common jews or jews who do not follow their mindset or uh, pro or uh, protocol of zionism wrote by uh, in 1896 by that man Har harzal i couldn't remember his full name harzal i think it was his name so they are not following they are actually saying that whatever state of israel is doing they are doing wrong and protests around in the united states prove this and the grand central uh, new york's uh, new york city stations protests actually proved in where 2000 jews uh, protest against the act of war crimes of israeli state so it says a lot but as i said this right wing government of uh, israel the state of israel the people of israel those illegal settlers in israel in west bank in anywhere in palestine land of palestine they consider us all including me any muslim any arab any christian any human being whether they are their staunch friends hindus indians they are amalekites and if they get a chance they will eliminate you these israelis these zionists will eliminate you because they consider it a holy war they consider it like cleaning the land like uh, taking the garbage out and they are doing this because 3700 deaths of children 2300 deaths of of women more than 9000 killings of innocent palestinian in gaza strip tells us whatever is happening it's happening for a reason it's happening because of their religious beliefs please watch my videos share it please share it long live palestine long live people of palestine long live the freedom fighters long live islam allah hafiz